Today I'm flying to London and tomorrow I'll be taking my NCLEX. The NCLEX is such an important exam because my nursing licensure and immigration paperwork depend on it. It defines my future. I'd rather pass the NCLEX sooner than later. So my recruitment company provided a review program with all the necessary materials like hard copies, online courses, webinars and exams. All in all, I studied five and a half months, which should really make me ready to take the NCLEX. I think that the review program with its weekly tests and follow-ups with the NCLEX team provided me with a structure that I needed to succeed in studying. I've also been told that with this review program the success rate is amazingly high, up to 90%. In the end I have a bit um, mixed feelings. I do believe I'm ready to take the exam because my review program performance was above a required level. That's how they make sure that a candidate is ready to take the exam. At the same time, I'm super nervous. I realized the uh, NCLEX is unlike any other test or exam I've ever taken, especially in its computer adaptive testing style. Also, the actual test questions are top secret, and I keep wondering about the similarity between the real NCLEX and the questions that we were presented in simulating tests. I think I should just stay calm, have trust and see it off for myself when the time comes. I shouldn't think of this as something overwhelming. Some of my anxiety is related to a sort of expectation of failure. I feel it's a psychological process that started already in my childhood. I used to get verbally and physically abused in school and this violence was related to my academic success. I was such a passionate and intelligent student. I was told that these things caused jealousy in others and due to a lack of other coping skills they turned to violence. I remember as a child it was heartbreaking to think that to fit in I'd have to give up the parts of myself that really defined me on such a deeper level or I'd have to continue to face this violence and be an outcast. As a child it was impossible to understand that life would get easier, that one day I'd be a registered nurse who's been nationally recognized with an award a passionate nurse and that I'd finally be in this process of immigrating to the US. As a child I also lacked a person to really relate to, to know that it's okay to be smart and dedicated to follow one's own path and dreams. But I'm glad that at this moment I realize these things better than ever. I've come so far in this process and I'm not gonna let anyone or anything stop me from fulfilling my dream haters gonna hate, right? So I'm taking the NCLEX tomorrow and for the past couple of days I've been trying to relax more than anything. I think last minute studying cramming really, it only creates panic start to think all the things you don't know. I think it's a vicious cycle beginning from the thought that you miss a question, you start to think I don't know this, I don't know that, you'll end up catastrophizing and you start to think you're a failure and if you bring that feeling to the test center, I think that's a recipe for a real failure. The things I just talked about, being nervous and having this anxiety, I don't want you to think that I'm setting myself up for failure because because I realize a lot of these thoughts come into a person's mind like automatic subconscious thoughts. It's up to me to decide if I want to accept and hold on to those thoughts or if I want to mentally fight against those thoughts to prove myself, to prove to others that I can do this. In moments of nervousness and anxiety I also have the evidence from the past, for example, before the IELTS exam, which was also in this process, the recruitment company gave me the requirements in each section of the exam. And I knew that band nine is not something that even natives can take for granted. So I was really nervous about if I was gonna pass, but then again, I didn't sweat about it too much. I didn't really even prepare for it, but I got an overall band of eight. I've also thought about the maximum time I might have to spend taking the NCLEX, which is six hours. Back in preparatory school, we had these final exams that were named 
matriculation. I think I took five or six exams. The maximum allowed time was six hours. So the actual experience kind of helps think about the demands of NCLEX. Then again, the NCLEX is something totally different in its computer adapted testing style. I plan to take as many breaks as I need. I think a neglected priority is to eat and hydrate during the exam. You might not even notice that you're not performing at an optimal level because your glucose level is low. And I also think moving your legs, or I prefer walking a bit, is good for the circulation. The worst thing that can happen in the test room is starting to feel sleepy, yawning, and not being able to focus on each question with the due diligence that they require. So I also wanted to show you what I'm bringing to London with me. We'll start with the backpack that I just bought. It's um, Fjellreven. I think all the pockets and compartments inside are just perfect for my needs. I'm also gonna bring my camera equipment. In here I have Sony Alpha 37. I have Joby here. The next one is also a Joby with my GoPro Hero session attached to it. And of course I'm gonna bring my laptop with me. And here I have my power bank. It has 9,000 milliampere hours. This is from Swish Travel Products. So it gives me four options. This one is the one that we use in Finland. And this is the one that I'll be needing in England. And because I'll be vlogging, I'll need storage. I bought this Seagate Ultra Slim portable drive from the airport the last time when I went to Norway. I really like the look on it. Uh, I really like that it's slim. It can be connected via a USB and I don't need an additional power source. I have this little bag with my SD cards, my SD card adapter, some thumb drives, um, there are two pockets here, so I have my chargers, my um, micro USB connectors for the GoPro and other devices. I'm also bringing my Beats headphones. These are wireless headphones that work via Bluetooth. Controls are here. Honestly, the most important thing on this trip is my passport, not because I'll be traveling, but because it is required for the NCLEX. I'm gonna show you something really cool about my passport. So I'll be definitely needing my passport. I'll also need my debit card. I have my driver's license back there. It's always with me. I have some credit cards too just in case. I live next to the train station, so I'll be taking a train to the airport. It'll take me six minutes. It's really so much easier than anything else. I also found this bag of British pounds. The last time I visited the UK was 2005, I think. This is my American notebook. I've written down everything important. I have so many dates in there. I have instructions. I have plans. And in the folder below, I have some important papers that I need to bring with me. Some snacks. It means nuts and fruits. It's a mix of cashew, peanuts, um, papaya, and raisins. I'm also thinking about bringing pear protein drink and this chocolate drink made of oats. I bought some protein bars. I still need to choose which clothes I'm gonna wear. I'll also bring my gym clothes because there will be a gym at the hotel. I think going to the gym will help calm me down the night before the exam. 